Hello, this is Limp Digits. I'm Romilly and he is... Squadron Leader Plumber! Tally ho! He's quite excited at the moment because we're playing a game called Mini Squadron and that allows Oscar to fulfil his fantasies of being a World War II era fighter pilot. Doesn't it, Oscar? I've just done a little bit of sex wee. <laughs> you had to get that in there, didn't you? We were talking before we recorded this that you wouldn't use that line because our mums and dads listen to this and you got it in there anyway when we're talking about World War II fighter planes. How does that even fit? You've never been able to stop me getting it in there. <laughs> let's, let's move off this topic really fast. Now, we're playing this game not because it's new, because it's not, and not because it's really special, because it's not really, but because it reminds us of a better day. Oh, no, better oh, day. Oh, oh, oh. What? Stop it. I disagree. I think this game's bloody brilliant. Actually, it isn't bad, is it? It's quite good. It is good. It's fantastic. It is, however, as you're about to say, Romilly, quite derivative. We've seen it all before. Uh, back in the day on my Spectrum 128, it was a game called The Island of Dr. Destructo. Romilly claims that him and his twin brother played this for hours under the name of Biplane. Yes. I've never heard of that. I'm going to take their words for it. But I'm also going to say uh, on the PC platform at the moment, there's a game called Altitude. It's all very, very similar. Lots of small, crudely animated planes with an up-down, left-right control mechanism flying around a sometimes uh, overlapping map. Uh, Shooting the bloody hell out of each other. It's awesome. It is. It's quite challenging, actually. It takes quite a while to become skillful, actually. You've, you've got standard kind of two thumb controls, uh, directional controls on the left um, and fire on the on the right. So, you know, but the, the whole screen moves around you. It's almost, how would you describe it? Your plane kind of stays in the center of the screen and, and your direction will move the screen around and then your enemies fly in from all different directions and you have to try and shoot them. It's quite hard to get on target, but it is very captivating, very good fun. One of the reasons that we downloaded this game and, uh, and thought we'd try it out is because um, we thought it might have online multiplayer, but doesn't. It's only got local LAN multiplayer. Me and Romilly have played this a bit. Um, we spent about an hour and a half flying around, and I have to say giggling like loons, shooting yeah. at each other. It's, it's brilliant. And you know what? This sort of game is absolutely rooted in the DNA of all video game players. I mean, if you go all the way back, right to the bloody beginning, um, that sort of scrolling, you, you, your player's more or less in the middle of the screen with a bit of verticality going on. You're going left and right, and fundamentally, it's just about unleashing the fury on other people. Awesome. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, even though it's only local, local multiplayer over the Wi-Fi, it is still very good at its best is when you're playing with someone else um if you've got a mate who's got an android phone as well and you're looking for something to do uh, on your lunch break or on your break at school or whatever it is you could do a lot worse than this um however when it comes to scoring which is what i think we should do now i don't think we should we should give it huge amounts of points should we ask her because you know it's nothing new is it and it hasn't got online multiplayer and that should get it voted down anyway in my book that knocks that's not that knocks it down to four straight away for me, and actually I'm going to take it a bit lower down to three three point seven, because there are times I looked at the looked at the visuals and thought you know what could be a bit better. At times also the control mechanism is a tiddly bit fiddly, tiddly bit fiddly, tiddly bit fiddly, um, <laughs> tiddly tiddly fiddly leads to sex we. Um, <laughs> um, and there, uh, just occasionally I ended up sort of spiralling in a, 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 a downward spiral of destruction which was uh, strangely reminiscent of my personal life but uh, yeah 3.7 for me what about you Ron? I, uh, I think I might concur it's got an average rating of 4.6 on the Play Google Play Store but I wouldn't go that high uh, do you know what I'll give it 3.7 as well and then, and then we don't have to work out the average Ultimately, there's a free version. There is a paid version as well, which is, I think, 99p. 199. 199. 199. Oh, maybe that's a bit high. Yeah, actually, you know what? That's a bit high. Play the free version. It's just as good. The ads are not that intrusive. Anyway, on that note, we should probably wrap it up. Tally-ho! Bye-bye. I've got a sloth who fires a really funky... Well, he worded if I'd hit. That was pitiful. Um... My sloth what? fires little beetles that eat is that the, the vines. Is that the emo thing? <laughs> it is. My, uh, you know, when he's not hanging that's from a swing, that sloth might... my rides. beehive. Oh, 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 you got me with your sticky goodness. Um, right, I'm going to monkey you. <laughs>